Hey everybody, on today's video, we're going to talk uh, about what those naughty cattle were up to this morning and how we started our day. Alrighty, so this is never a good sign when you see these on the wrong side of the fence. Yeah, started the day this way. That's awesome, huh? Um, was, hey honey, you got a cow out. Oh, okay. Well, if it's a cow, it's probably one of the calves that crawled through the bunk. No big deal. Look out the window. No, I don't have a cow out. All the cows are out. Because they decided to do this. Now they had been doing a pretty good job of weed eating along this fence. And last year when we had the, the storm on Memorial weekend, or it might even been Memorial Day, I can't remember now. Pretty sure I got a video of some of the tree stuff. Anyway, um, you know, I could tell this fence, the posts were starting to get a little rotten, um, but, you know, it was still holding. So it had been on my list for future consideration. And we really liked the looks of the of the white wood. You know, it kind of, kind of has a neat look around the, around the house here. But the problem is it's all, it was built out of landscaping posts and square posts. So if you look, I don't think there's a good one on this whole stretch. Basically all the way to the garden, I, I'm going to have to replace it. So do I replace it with that fancy forever fence? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, too expensive. Or do I do like I did around the garden where I put the uh, stockade panels and put a, a wood post on the end of every one and a steel post in the middle? Because that's been doing really good keeping the cows out of the garden. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, of course, talking rain tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I don't know that I, uh, I'll get her all done. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll measure this though so that I get the right amount of panels instead of being one short or something like that when we get going. Um, we'll, throw the, we'll throw the postal digger on the back of the 200 um, so that way if we do get a lot of rain tomorrow and we have to wait a day or two to get back to it. I'm not switching between the post hole digger and the bale carrier because obviously on this one, I was about 12 hours late bringing him a bale, well, maybe two. Yeah, missed the, missed the dinner call by about two hours probably on this one. Um, you know, the cows don't seem, uh, seem too sorry about what they did either. I don't know, we'll have to have a chat about that. <laughs> But always, always something fun on the farm, right? You know, um, how can you eat the, how can you eat those steers that you raise? Well, this is how. <laughs> Believe me, they earned it. Plus, they taste really good. So, yeah, I've got the, I got these HW ones that I got, uh, these portable panels. I got them right here for now. So, should keep the cows off the road but not for very long because as you can see yeah that post isn't very good that one's not very good Ooh, this one might actually be holding yeah that one's actually holding so yeah this whole stretch is is rough but i'm gonna walk down here and uh, take a look well, they didn't push anymore but yeah they do a great job what it is is the calves and the yearlings basically stick their head through here and then they're doing some weed eating which isn't bad if it's solid but that constant back and forth with their heads in between will uh yeah and eventually if you've got some rotten rotten posts it'll find them or even rotten boards like in this situation so man they've been crazy lately they can tell it's just about time we're going to uh we're gonna get harvest 
done and then they'll be out in the stacks and, and they'll be able to uh they'll be able to roam around but yeah so here's here's what i'll do it'll be just like the garden here Those zinnias are still i mean they're crazy tall you know some of those are five foot tall that's yeah good crop of zinnias this year and good crop of broken posts um but still better than sitting in a cube um doing the cube farm thing so beautiful day out here again like i said we got a chance of rain for tomorrow so see how far i get but i'm guessing you might see some more fencing videos in the future so as always take care and thanks for watching